Today I'd like to talk to you about earth, smoke and spirit, the tools of a sun gorma. And this is going to be part of my online training course, which is going to be happening next week on the 17th of November. I'm going to be talking to people about the importance of honoring the earth, our mother, Gaia, our earth mother. And I'm going to be showing people how to connect with the earth through making earth altar. As you connect with the earth, so you connect with your bones, so you connect with your blood, and so you connect with your ancestors. As you connect with your ancestors, so you connect with that place before you're born. And as you connect with that place, so you connect with the dream time. As you connect with the dream time, then you connect with your purpose, your joie de vie, the joy of life inside of you, and why are you alive. So the tools of a Sangoma are about connecting with the elements of the earth, connecting with your dreams, connecting with your ancestors. And this earth altar is literally a plate filled with soil from outside. And I'm going to be teaching people how to work with that. It's interesting because nowadays in, in many parts of the world, people speak about the soil as dirt. That's completely incorrect. It's soil, it's the blood of the land. And look at the earth now. The earth has become dirty. It's become a trash heap because of the way we treat the soil. So we start this indigenous practice, this wilderness-based practice, through honoring the soil, through praying to the soil, through showing devotion to the soil, and as you're doing that, you're also showing devotion to your own bones and blood and your own ancestors. As we all know, we are all going to die one day. And when we die, our body is going to enter the soil and our body is going to become like the dust and the sand. So the practice of earth, smoke and spirit, the tools of a Sangwoma, is about connecting to the raw elemental nature of planet Earth and looking at our responsibilities as human beings and how to engage with those responsibilities. So the first is we have to align ourselves and align our spirit with the Earth, with our mother, Gaia, the great Makulu, the great mother. As we align ourselves, then we start to align our spirit. As we align our spirit, so we start to align our dreams and our life purpose. So I'm going to be speaking to you about creating an earth altar for you to pray to so that you can connect with your own bones and blood with your own ancestors. And then I'm going to be speaking to you about navigating the dream time how to see your dreams as omens, as spiritual portals, as opportunities for growth, for spiritual growth. And I'm also going to be speaking, speaking to you about the importance of ancestors and of how to honor your bones and blood, how to honor your forefathers and foremothers, and the importance of that to connect with your humanity. And then I'm going to be speaking to you about the importance of Ubuntu. Ubuntu is an old South African word meaning humanity. And it says, I am what I am because of who we all are. It speaks about a circle, a circle of man united through red blood and through the soil beneath our feet. So how can we bring that concept or idea of Ubuntu into this world? We do that first through connecting with our own ancestors and then listening to the call of the wilderness. Because the first step of connecting with Ubuntu, of connecting with our humanity, the first step is connecting with our heartbeat and then connecting with our bones, connecting with our ancestors. And then we start to connect with the circle of man, with our human race. And then we face outwards and we connect with the wilderness. And then we start to listen to our job as human beings, which means how can we help this world? 
How can we be servants of this world rather than just consumers, rather than just takers? So this is the course, Earth, Smoke and Spirit, the Tools of a Sangoma. It will be done over four weeks and it will involve one, one, one evening a week, every Tuesday for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. So I look forward to meeting you there. Thank you.